Welcome back to New Realities. I'm Alan Steinfeld. This is part two of my interview with Steve Sonis, and we talk about his teachers, particularly his understanding of non-duality. All right, so non-duality, I've heard it explained. Um, there's a couple short and easy ways of saying it. Um, non-duality, so the dualistic world, the, the medium which we live in in this world is mind and matter. Right. right? Right. Mind on one side, matter on this side. That is duality. Okay. There is two. There is a separation there. There's me and there's that. Correct. Okay. Correct. Right. 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 With non-duality, what? Uh, and I believe this is the mm -hmm. truth and the, the nature of all our experience. There is no separation. There is not mind and matter. There is one almost organism going on, if you, because if you will. Because what we see as outside is really a projection of us, because we're seeing it the way through our own mind. Correct. The way I like to think of it is what we consider our inner world, our thoughts, sensations, feelings, is in our consciousness, right? And everything we perceive appears to be outside of our consciousness. But through investigation, you see that I'm not conscious in a world, but the whole world, everything, is happening within my consciousness. It's all within you. It's all within because me. Because you're, just, you're seeing this world, so it's your mind, really, that you're seeing a reflection of your own mind. Yeah, I, I feel really strongly that it's almost, the way, best way to compare it is like a virtual reality. Mm -hmm. If you've ever done some high-tech virtual reality, mm -hmm. You put those goggles on, and all these things are happening, but you're not moving, right? Mm -hmm. You're just observing. Right. And that's how I feel about the world. It literally is just, Paramahansa Yogananda said, it's shadows and light of the Lord. It's just, a lot of times I'll imagine, I'm not moving when I'm walking, driving, going anywhere. I'm not moving. I'm, there's nowhere, I'm that, not that going away from place. source. It experience, I'm experiencing experience they, but I'm not changed or going anywhere you know? the world is moving but it's all like but you're you're centered in the consciousness of of your awareness we are all centered in the consciousness of our awareness mm -hmm. whether we believe so or not is a different story and so my experience is just just that, it's an experience in consciousness. So like we are always at home with God in oneness, in singularity. It is getting back to that space in a... Uh, um, recognizing. A recognizing in a... We've re never left. In, in remembering that we've never left. We've never been separate, even though we're having an experience of separation we have an experience of separation we have an experience of duality but the goal is to recognize ourselves who am i by recognizing that we we recognize we are one with all that is there is no separation and therefore there is nothing to be afraid of there is nothing that we can't experience um positive good or bad depending on where we put our uh, attention and our focus but but so how did that help you how does that help others when when we perceive the world as part of our experience we know that it could never harm us mm. but when we perceive the world as dangerous and foreign and that we're alone it will match that vibration and it will give us examples of reasons to be afraid, reasons to show that we are separate, you know, kind of um, support our beliefs in being separate and alone when we have an understanding or even just a belief that I am one with everything and that behind everything I see is God, love. That's what facilitates all. That's what we are. Then that's what is reflected back. So when you walk into a space or whatever, it's like you embrace it as an extension of yourself. Is that, could that be a way of saying it? I, frankly, I don't really think about it. <laughs> I just, um, like I, I've come to a place at least now, 
where I'm just kind of along for the ride. I'm just experiencing whatever's happening. But you're also, you know, another way, a teacher, so you're helping people. You're not just experiencing, you're, you're helping people understand this perspective, so making their lives easier. Yes, this, when Jojo mentioned the opportunity to share this, that, that I discovered with Bashar, that that was my passion. Oh, yeah. Sharing is, is my passion. Yeah, let's talk about um, some of the other teachers, because yeah. we share that in common. Yeah. Bashar. Bashar, I love Bashar. What did Bashar... Um, so, this yeah. is interesting. Yeah, so, me. right? So, I come back from rehab. I go to rehab for like six months, extended mm -hmm. rehab, because I was a mess, right? Mm -hmm. And I come back from rehab, and I'm all excited to live a new, clean life, new yeah. perception. But even that, after a few months, it became just almost boring. You know, right. it, there was kind of a sense, I didn't have a sense of purpose. I still have, to this day, have no sense of a future. I don't worry about, you know, am I going to have a house or this or that. Again, I feel like I'm on borrowed time. I never thought I'd live this long, frankly. So, um, I sat down and watched the Bashar movie. Uh -huh, uh, right, oh, right. Oh, May, uh, First, First Contact. Contact. Yeah, yeah, I love First that Contact. Me yes, too. Yes, yes. And he was talking about the purpose of your life mm. is passion. Yes. And I, I didn't know what is my passion. But we, I was with my cousin, he was having a real bad day, so I put the movie on. We ended the movie and we both lit up. And right. now I'm sharing some of my experiences with him and some of my understandings with him. And I found that I was just on fire, you know, wow. in the best way. And I realized, wow, this is my passion. When we talk about the idea of acting on your joy to the best of your ability, we mean at every given moment on anything, every moment, if you simply choose the thing that excites you the most at that moment out of all the things you have available to you, that you have the best ability to actually take action on, do it. Take action on that thing. When you can take action on that thing, no further, look around for the next most exciting thing. You have the greatest ability to take action on and do that, whatever it is. Even if it doesn't seem connected to anything else, do it because the excitement tells you it is connected. Okay. Excitement is its own self-contained kit and its own driving engine. When you act on your excitement to the best of your ability every moment, you begin to experience synchronistically that the exciting thing you're doing actually contains all of the things you actually need to consider. And what it doesn't contain you don't need to consider. It's a self-contained kit that always perpetuates more of the same, more excitement and brings with it the things that actually are important for you to have to look at in that process of continuing and expanding your excitement. And Which part was your passion? Sharing. Oh, sharing. And, and seeing the perceived other lit up. That is As great. As they light that up, I am lighting. Wow, you know, and it's it's um, re, not reinforcing; it's multiplying within me. My mm. my own light is just more intense as I see it around me. Wow, especially that's... in others, you know. So you dedicated your life to sharing and helping people wake up. You could say that. I, I just said it. <laughs> no, but no, but it's a it's a good thing. I it is <laughs> it is I I um I don't like to take a lot of credit because I think that the credit is to the personality that is such a limited sense right. of, of well, someone has to take credit for you might as yeah. well right because um, right. no it's not a bad thing no it, it's not a bad thing but I guess I'm cautious of the message and the messenger being right. mixed up no you know we're I mean? not saying wow thank you you're not but saying I mean but I think it's okay I'm doing from a sense of self mm -hmm. say yeah wow I can you can acknowledge you help not egotistically I can, but it, I can acknowledge it thank I you. can and, and I thank can. you and I I know what you're saying <laughs> right, right. I think that there is a sense of there's other uh, people in the world that when you first introduce them this material uh -huh. 
I think there's a sense of they see love in you, the messenger, right. and that's great. There is love there, but it's important that they start to develop it within themselves because right. it's not me. No, no, that but the love. I mean, I think feeling. I know what you because I sometimes have a hard time being acknowledged when someone says, "Oh, thank you for this program." And then yeah, we And it's like when I am acknowledged, you know, when I let myself have it, it feels good. It does. It, it doesn't. It, it, not egotistically. It's like, wow, I've, I've done something, an accomplishment. It it does feel very so good. So let yourself. But I, and I, I, <laughs> believe it or not, this is me working on this. I've let myself take a lot more uh, compliment and credit, mm -hmm. but um, mm -hmm. I, I'm sure that there's a sense of. You know, who am I to take credit for this mm. wonderful truth that has nothing to do with me? You know what I mean? There's a sense I know, of you know, But, you know, I got that um, understanding. Like, I was doing this presentation for this other teacher, and then the, I, people applauded me for making this presentation, and Sting was in the audience. And, like, oh, yeah? Sting was there clapping. And I said, wow, this guy's been applauded, and he's clapping for me. I'm just yeah. going to take that in. Yeah. And it really felt good to, like... Be acknowledged by someone who's an acknowledged person, you know. So I, I let myself have it, like maybe for the first time, and it's like, wow, it's nothing wrong with like let the, being acknowledged. Listen, the fact that you're interviewing me now is huge. You're really? like my sting. You know what I mean? Like the fact that you talk to all these fascinating, wonderful people, mm -hmm. and you want to talk to me as well, yeah. is a, a great honor and. An acknowledgement, right? But you're, but what you're saying is as great as what anyone else has said. You, I you, believe so. I mean, yeah. I believe oh, for me. Oh yeah, the information, the truth, the experience to me is unquestionable. Yeah. You know, and I have had this for many, many years. Mm -hmm. I just never spoke about it. Yeah. Um, and yeah. so, to me, it's unquestionable truth, and that's why I can speak so freely about it because of what it is. No, it's great because... And the information is not mine. It's truth. Do you know what I'm saying? No, I do know what yeah. you're saying. That's what I'm saying. For me, it's like, yeah, I can interview Deepak Chopra or the guy right. in the street, but it's all equal. Yeah. No one yes. has um, a greater experience than anyone else Correct. because we're all, we're all these beings that are just Absolutely. sharing what we can. So from Bashar, that helped you. And then you went into, what else, other teachings? Well, so other teachings were before, uh, but so I, I met Alan Powell, who was teaching mm -hmm. about creating reality. He's from uh, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. And then I met um, different yoga teachers, good friends. Mm -hmm. And Priscilla, a friend of mine, Priscilla, had a yoga studio in New Hampshire, and she would host mm -hmm. different, um, you know, workshops. And things. Right, right. Elizabeth Foley works with angels. She started to turn me on to a more softer spiritual side. And then a big teacher and assistant was um, Kevin Michaels. He's now in Arizona, but he had spent 17 years, I believe, in India wow. studying under... Um, um, oh my God, I don't his name. Babaji, I think. I mean, Babaji is a very... They're common. all Babaji. <laughs> yeah, they're all Babaji. <laughs> no, but... Shri Baba. God, They're all, it's that. okay. That's okay. They're, Sai Baba. Sai Baba. Sai Baba. Sai Baba with the hair. Right, 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 um, right, right. And so I started to kind of go in that direction. But but you, when you got back from rehab, you, you saw first contact by with Bashar and Daryl, mm -hmm. um, and then you said it just started to get boring. Then what was oh that so what happened I, you know, along that trajectory? Bashar said, you know, follow your passion. Your passion is your purpose. And you yeah. that rung true because I had no purpose. I felt no purpose. I found that sharing and watching others light up mm -hmm. was my passion. So I started a group. Oh, I didn't that's like big. I, yeah, I didn't go to meetings as far as AA and I had never right. felt right to me. I only did it when I was forced to react. But um, so I started my own meetings. What was that called? I just. I mean, we kind of slangly called it the energy meetings. Great. And what uh, would happen at those meetings? I would just share and I would bring up points and ask others, you know, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? I would bring up subtly points of non-duality uh -huh. and, uh, and creating get, reality. You get local friends who would come to the meeting? Friends and family. Local, uh -huh. and, local and, people. And yeah. they 
we share and they started to realize they had their own experiences with it but mm -hmm. where what really happened was I was working for the Michla Mike Lasix. Jojo. Kevin, Jojo, Jojo yeah. and Kevin. Kevin, I felt I owed him such a great... I had so much gratitude for Kevin. Because why? Because he, he put me in rehab, and I had no money to pay for that, so it was fully, almost fully uh, taken care of. I felt like Tony and Kevin had basically saved my life, gave me a purpose, and I was so grateful Kevin wanted work done at his house. They, Jojo and Kevin were doing work at the house. Right. They asked me to do it through our friend Tony. So being there, I met Jojo, uh -huh. and we would, you know, we were there during the day working together on these projects, and we started having these conversations. I asked her if she'd like to come to my mm. meetings. She did, and from there, she said, "We have to teach this." Yeah, and you woke her up to something. It's, it's almost like I've been waiting for Jojo this whole time mm. because I had always said, even in my thirties. I had always said, I want to share and I want to help to show this gem that I know and found, but I didn't have the, uh, either the, whatever it took, I didn't have the confidence, the courage, whatever you want to say, and I always said to myself and others who would ask me, when are you going to teach, when are you going to, I had been being told I would be teaching for many years, but I couldn't fathom, I mm -hmm. couldn't picture it, and I always would say, listen, I'll speak whenever someone asks me. Right. But I felt as though no one was asking, so I didn't speak, you know? Right. That's how it was. Yeah. And um, Jojo asked. Jojo's you know, asked Jojo you, asked. And asked she you said, to, what did she ask? She said, will you do, would you like to do a master class and uh, share with me what, you know, share with others who want this information what you shared with me. And I, I, there's nothing I'd rather do. Wow, and then you and Jojo formed the organization Ascend Together. Jojo really did everything. The Ascension Together is JoJo's. I mean, I cannot take any credit. She disagrees. You take a little credit. She's making faces <laughs> over there. You can take all a little I credit. Do, all I do for Ascension Together is show up. I show no, up. You and inspired I, it. You created I, well, your intention. I made might have it been happen. The muse. That's no, no, fine. more no, than I a will, muse. I will, I will, I will, I'll accept that. I'll okay, accept that. no, but it's. And I wanted it. You know what I you mean? You wanted it. I wanted it. a platform to be able to share this information. Right. More so, I, I don't think of it so much as teaching as sharing, because I'm, I'm throwing out a gem here, I'm throwing out breadcrumbs. If you're interested, and I tell everyone in the class, if you're drawn to this, great, go for it. Right, right, if right. not, great, you don't have to go for it. You know, This is an opportunity. It's the opportunity that I found worked for me, mm. that is beautiful, soft, loving, gentle, kind, safe, truthful, nice. and there's nothing I'd rather be doing. So what is Ascension Together? What does that mean? How does that um Ascension to Together, JoJo came up with the name, which I love, I love because it. we are, being that we are one, one yeah. entity or one energy vibration, if you will, as any of us ascend, we are ascending together. We are ascending mm -hmm. Spiritually, conscious, wow. fully, whatever other terms. We are going into our seventh <clears throat> semester. And we always said, even if one person shows up, that's great because we just want to share this, right? We want to contribute this to the world and add light to the collective. But we've been so blessed that we've had what we would say full classes. We like to cap them off at 10 to keep it an intimate, engaging and thorough experience. The natural state is the one of love and we like to go back to our natural state. Come and join us. What happens in these groups and in the team? What, like, what do you talk about? What do you share? We have a curriculum <clears throat> oh, that we, we, we follow. So in the first class, it's called um, Miracle Mind of Forgiveness. And mm. we start off with the traditional sense of forgiveness. and Forgiving people. Forgiving that... people and circumstances that yes. were unpleasant mm -hmm. and we felt were, we were done wrong or had done someone else wrong. And we go through, uh, basically, it's a sense of non-duality and a sense of all is love and God. Because from there, 
we can forgive ourselves and forgive others for only for misunderstanding or dreaming that we were separate. That's right. the only thing really to forgive. Right. It's really misperception. Does that hit with people, maybe some addicts still come, does that, because addiction, it is a separate, like you're doing this because you're separating from the world, yeah. so how does that yeah. help people, how do you get we, people to integrate? We have, we have addicts mm -hmm. in our groups, but we, it's not just mm -hmm. for addicts, in fact most are not addicts. But how does the, let's say a person who's still addicted, mm -hmm. What do they do with that information that, I mean, I guess, because it's been a process for you. Yeah. How do they understand I, that they're not separate? I, one of my closest friends is still in, you know, party mode big time. But he's been coming to our classes over and over and over. He wants to spend as much time with me physically at work or after work mm -hmm. as he can because he knows this is the direction he wants to go and he doesn't fully understand right. it, but he sees the changes in me over the years. He's one of my oldest friends. And basically, I like to think of it like it was talked about on the Paramahansa Yogananda movie, Awake. Mm -hmm. There was a man who went up to Yogananda and said, you know, the church has always said what I can't do. I want to know from you, what can I do? Mm. And because he wanted to come up and meditate and learn mm. on the mount, mountain right. there with Yogananda. And Yogananda said, do you smoke cigarettes? He said, yes. He goes, you may continue. Do you drink <laughs> alcohol? Yes, you may continue. Do you fornicate with women? Yes, you may continue. And he said, wait a second here. Yeah. I can come up here and practice meditation and learn with you all, and I can still go home and drink, smoke, and, and party and fornicate and he said yes but I cannot promise you if you continue this practice that those desires won't fall away oh. so that's the way <laughs> I feel about it is if you are interested in investigating your reality and in, in investigating things you know teachings like A Course in Miracles right, right, right. That will overcome and overwhelm the sense of partying because, frankly, what we do as seemingly individuals uh -huh. is very little. Well, I, I would sort of disagree. I disagree because your presence and JoJo's presence emanate something beyond the world. You know, you're, you're happy. JoJo's ecstatic most of the day and just like she is just what I, radiating. What I meant by that, Al, was mm. that just the individual personality, mm. my personality, who I believe myself to be, if I put myself in the direction I want, like I sign up for A Course in Miracles class mm. and I know, all right, I want to investigate this. Uh -huh. My personality is such a small part of who I am, my essence, my vibration, right. my energy, for all of us. Mm -hmm. That then is the motor behind what's happening. Right. You know what I mean? The personality itself only need to very, you know, put their attention, intention, in a certain direction. And our driving force, our energy will do the work. God Yeah, will your energy in. that's coming through you, which is the God force energy. God source, yeah. Do you feel closer to that now than ever, in a sense? Because you're really in, uh, going for it. Yeah, in a sense, I do, yes. And doesn't that make you happy? <laughs> it makes me very happy. It makes me very happy. Great. It, it, if I'm not, like, smiling and seeming blissed out all the time, <laughs> on the inside, I am very much at peace. You are. I'm very much you, at peace. I have a great sense. Of, my uh, discomfort is dealing with the outside world when it's about Steve, you know, about me. My sense of, my sense of, which is a crazy thing to say after everything I've just right, said. Right, after the advice stuff, is, right? It is, it is crazy, yes, yeah. yes, yes. But, but the, my relationship to the world when it's not focused on me yeah. is perfect peace. I just like to go about you know, the regular day, you know, I, mm. I, I do my work, I talk to my clients and customers, mm. I spend time with my guys, and when I'm, at the end of the day, I'm home, and, mm -hmm. you know, pr pretty much every day, I, I like to be alone, you right. know, and 
Um, but what is the future? Like, where do you want to see this going? I know you said you live pretty much in the present, but mm -hmm. you, you, do you want this to expand? Not because of you, but because of... I would, I would love for as many people as could be to have this sense of peace and joy and love that I have found. Mm -hmm. Simply because uh, I think it's good for the whole. Mm. Actually, really, because that's what feels right to me. Yeah. You know, if it didn't feel right to me, then I wouldn't. I wouldn't care. Yeah. But that's what feels like my passion is when I see people light up, and it's almost really like an escape from suffering. That's what it seems to be for the most part. For you or them? Yes, for me. For you. And I think that's a, a byproduct of investigation <laughs> is an escape from suffering. Escape I, from all, your own suffering. Yeah. All I wanted to do. I remember when I first got on these learning journeys and mm -hmm. teachers. One woman asked me, she's like, so what do you want to create? We were talking about creating reality. Mm -hmm. And I said, I just want to be happy. Right. I don't care what it is that I create. I just want to be happy. I just want to be at peace. Because I had experienced in my youth, in my first 30 years, I, my experience was very tumultuous. Or, mm -hmm. or, or, or else that's how I rem what I remember. No, I'm sure it was. No, if you remember it, it was. So when you see someone like somewhere having like going through the same thing you went through, mm -hmm. what what do you feel? Do you, do you do you say you know it can get? I mean, or do you just feel sorry? I mean, it reflects on yourself. How, how do you deal with some people I, like that? I I look on them uh, like like it was me. I was like, oh, it, it, that's so. I don't feel sorry or feel bad because that would be. Per Perpetuating and saying that they are in some type of danger or harm. Right. So when I don't believe that's the case. So when what do you My do for that person? You see, maybe I they... will. Um, a lot of times, I'll give them money if they're asking mm -hmm. for money. It, it's really about where they're at. Mm -hmm. I'll meet them where they're at. So if they're on the street asking for money, I'll give them some money. And if they come if to your group, like if say... they come to my group, then I'm gonna speak with them. On and I try to speak with them on a playing field that they will accept and understand in language they hear. If people ask me for truth, I'm going to give them truth. I see myself, I, I can almost see myself on everyone in a weird way, and I, I don't feel like that was a spiritual thing. I, I just feel like I've always kind of felt that way. And so uh, I see myself in them, and I really, I, in a weird way, I feel happy for them. I don't want them to suffer, but... I I know that that that's only temporary, and that they're going to but, have wonderful experiences. But you maybe know, they won't. They'll be stuck. I mean, I don't know. In this, but maybe in be this stuck experience, in there. they may be in this human experience. In this human experience, they but, may be. Um, but I just see the light behind them. Well, you know what great. I mean? It's, yeah, it's, I do. By because the light is all there is mm -hmm. behind everything there's nothing wrong it's it's like wow. watching a movie like if you watch a movie you know you you your heart goes out to the character right. but but as soon as the movie's over you're not worried about the character the character's not real uh -huh. you know in that sense yeah, I, I don't want to no 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 but you strong. were suffering you suffered and you went through a lot of pain I, and i have I have empathy and sympathy, and I will approach them and talk to them. And you know, anyone that wants to talk to me, I, I want to talk to. I can't not see them as the light. And even right. if I did, yes. I would be doing them a disservice. <laughs> even if you did what? See them as down and out oh, and feel sorry oh, for them. I would be a... doing them a disservice because I would be okay. saying, "Yes, you really are." this image of suffering and low down right. you know i don't see you that way i see you the same light that i see myself and in everyone because that's the truth wow and that's, that's in my great. opinion that's all i could really do that's, to help that yeah. person i will anyone that approaches me i'll talk to them. anyone asks me for a dollar whatever i'll give it i will do anything i can for people mm -hmm. you know uh but i'm not going to see them as suffering as, as less than who they yeah, really are yeah 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 i mean i i acknowledge their suffering i'm not going to make fun of them or no, of make light of it but you're asking me no, personally we, my reaction is no, a I sense love, of love i love i think that's beautiful i think that's like a 
a lesson for me, you know? It's like, you're not like pitying them, you're not like saying, oh, I've been there, I know what that's like, or you can't... In a sense, it's like I know what that's like, but I also know that they're okay. Yeah. And that it's one expression of duality, it's one expression of God, it's one expression of consciousness, and that's all it is, it's one expression. So do you think you see the light in people because you, you, you've been through it all, you've been to that dark place, you've been through your own pain, suffering, and... I think, yes, I think that as a kid, I always saw myself as less than and mm -hmm. everyone else as superior, mm -hmm. so there was always a sense of looking on people with at least a due respect and, and honor, and then having the, the light experience and the course of miracles, and being able to affect people's lives without speaking about it uh -huh. um you know kind of it just the the, the culmination uh, mm -hmm. of all these different things for me it's very easy to if if not see people imagine that you know that they are just light you know that's mm -hmm. all that's behind them is not only their light my light nice our light a consciousness that's all it is that's all that's behind us it's mm -hmm. nothing threatening Right, so you've really there's nothing in danger. But do you still do you find do you still put people separate from you? Like you think that you know? I mean, do you I still mean, have that tendency? Like, we're um, all working through stuff. Right? right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, obviously, like you know, I'm Steve here. You're Alan there. We're talking. I, I, I'm not gonna. You know, there's no sense of oh, I'm not a body or anything like that. You know what I mean? There's no, I don't have that anyway. There is no sense of that. Yes, we are different bodies and we, I can feel you when I touch you and so on and so forth. Um, so in that sense, yes. But I'll use my work, for example. When I schedule, let's say I schedule the electrician. You're a contractor. And, yeah, I'm a contractor. For, for building houses. Huh? Correct. Yeah, okay. So um, residential remodeling, really. Right, I, don't, right. I don't really build from scratch right now. But when I schedule something, yeah. and if the electrician calls and says, I can't make it mm -hmm. Tuesday, I gotta come Thursday, in the past, I would have started to have a little sense of panic, a little bit of anger, now I gotta explain to the customer. Right. Now, the difference has been, I'm just noticing, is that it's, okay, great, and I don't think twice about it, because I just know that me, the electrician, the customer, the homeowner, the plumber, mm -hmm. in truth, we're all interconnected because we all are. So if that's what's working best for him, that's what's going to work best for everybody. Wow. And it, it doesn't, um, by perceiving it that way, it does work that way. If and when I was perceiving it as an issue, it would create an issue. Right. So, we see the so world good. we perceive, and we perceive the world that we believe and think it to be. Wow. That's, so what, what's next for you and JoJo and Ascend together, Ascension Together? Um... Frankly, Alan, I hope that I could go on and share this with the world like some Tony Robbins. But... You can. But if even if today was the last time I spoke about this, mm -hmm. that's fine with me too. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's whatever comes next, I'm cool with. You know, I feel well, in a sense I've done my job. I've opened up and I've offered this information. If people choose to hear more, great. If but what's your passion a, now? I my mean, passion's sharing. It is so sharing. So you want to keep teaching. sharing. I do. I right. do. But I'm okay with, you know what I mean? Like, I'll tell you what, maybe because it's a level of confidence or self-worth that every time I share or speak, I'm completely uh, satisfied or feeling like this may not happen again, mm. and that's what it but is. But what's your I'm highest excitement, though? That's sharing. 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 So, it's okay to have a little bit Yeah, of and well, once it started, passion. once it started, the ball's roll. Like, I don't need to well, worry about it or do anything about no, it. No, no, it's not like you yeah, have to yeah. do anything, but it's like... I like is, it. It's like I the way you keep doing it. I love it. I love it. It, it, it. And it, like I said, it intensifies in me. In the last <clears throat> year or so that we've started the, the classes, my own experience has become intensified. Mm -hmm. And like I used the example of with the electrician in the work mm -hmm. of no reaction, no concern, mm -hmm. that is something that I'm just noticing mm -hmm. now, looking back, that that's been a part of me recently mm -hmm. that's more and more prevalent. You right. know, there is nothing 
Um, that I need, you know, to even. No, but really you know consider. what I get when you share and satisfying. It it does give value to you. There's a value. I mean, and sure. I, do you sure. feel like yeah, the, the, I do. I do, and, and it's okay yeah, to feel and, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Thank it's you. actually great to feel your own worth. Thank you. Thank you, yes. Alan. I greatly appreciate that. Yeah, do you, you. I want you to feel it because I, you're honestly, I do. Okay. I do. I don't. I don't like to really it's say it hard. out loud. I don't like to hear it out loud. I don't want other people to <laughs> hear me being, uh, you know, no, applauded. It's not. But it's I so do hard. inside. I am honored. I am excited. I am yeah. happy. I will take on the fact that I, in my sense, have succeeded. I have brought. I have spoken. I've learned and experienced, and I'm sharing it, and I've I'm mm. I'm a success. Yeah. So well, I'm I'm I, very happy and honored by that. I just, what, a lot of me doesn't want to talk about the inner Steve stuff. You know, well, that's I, one thing that I, mean, I learned about in. Um, what's the inner Steve stuff? Just I, I guess how I feel about Steve. And how My do you feel self about judgments. Steve? Um, <laughs> I mean now I feel good about it. <laughs> Has the whole journey been worth it? I mean, all the suffering? I mean... Yes, you... and I, it has been worth it, and I'd like to tell anyone that's listening mm -hmm. that really, what what if we could sum up why the sharing and what the potential of this is, is we are expressions of God that can experience anything and everything we want. So your highest dreams can be your reality and I always used to hear things like that in school and you know live your dream and um, dream the highest dream and all these different things and I thought bullshit but I'm experiencing now that and thanks to Bashar by following your passion you really can experience your greatest reality because you're the one creating you are the God the power and um, force or uh, source and energy of God or, or source or, or uh, universal consciousness is creating just for you. Mm. It's all about you. Be who you want to be. Do what you want to do. Come from a place of love. You'll have much better experience. But go for it. Your greatest dreams can be a reality and there's no reason... Mm. Not to dream big and and go for it. That's live live in a place of love and have love surround you, reflect back to you. And I feel as though I'm living my highest dream, which I didn't believe I would ever live. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's that's why what's so great about being happy and at peace and having this sense of joy and love because just naturally is unfolding things that are beyond my expectation like or experience what? Like what was? being interviewed in New York City by <laughs> Alan Steinfeld. I'm serious. This is probably the biggest deal thing that's happened to me. I mean, I don't, you know, I really, even through all my understanding and things, before I started sharing in the last year, mm. I still just didn't talk about it. I still went amongst my day, whether I was sober or, or drink, and I just went to work, worked with the guys, and I had fun. I had yeah. pleasant days of my clients yeah. and my customers. We all love each other. I want to say, like, even though I speak on these wonderful, lofty truths, I'm just... I go to work. I get up every day and go to work, like manual labor. It's well, not like I know, you know, it's not like... But you're thinking about this actually after while you're working, right? I mean, Yeah, it's like, absolutely. It's, like it's, it's not... completely... It's a completely ingrained in every aspect of life because it is everything. Mm. The energy that creates, that is everything we perceive, clothing, mm. solid, not solid, it is the light of God or source. That's what it is. So there is nothing that is outside of this experience. Wow. And it's not outside of the experience of God and light. Mm. If you choose to see it that way, wow. then that's your experience. We are all so loved. You are all so loved perfectly. Think of the person that you <clears throat> just love unconditionally the most, or the two people, your kids, a pet, a mom, a grandma, whatever. The way you look on them with that unconditional love, that is your nature looking on you right now. Call it God, source, the universe, that which you come from 
is what you are and that is love and that loves you exactly how you are you could do no wrong